Two Norfolk State University grads are now forever connected. They share the story of a life-saving gift decades in the making. When one of them needed a new organ and couldn't find a donor, an old friend jumped into action. Eugene Daniel picks up the story from here. For Richard Kuntz and Steve Robinson, it all started here at Norfolk State University roughly 30 years ago. And if they didn't know then, they certainly know now that encounter was life changing. Richard and Steve met as college students in the 90s and soon after they became roommates. We really hit it off. After graduation, they kept in touch but hadn't seen each other in years until an impromptu reunion in Ohio last year. We really picked up where we left off. But something was different. Richard, though donning that hallmark smile, had lost a lot of weight. Uh, I told him, I was like, look, man, I just have this liver disease, been battling for a couple years. Doctors told Richard he needed a liver transplant. Though they hadn't seen each other in 20 years, his old roommate didn't think twice. It's going to save his life and it's going to help me as well. Last week, the two reunited again, this time for organ transplant surgery in Cleveland, Ohio. They went under the knife on Valentine's Day, which Steve says is fitting, giving Richard's role in his love story. Life I have, I got to say, it's because of him. He introduced me to my wife, Natalie. We have three beautiful kids. Richard knows Steve's gift is not only life-saving, but rare. Brothers, you know, give me an opportunity to, uh, to lengthen my life. Disconnected for years, but it's safe to say from now on, where Richard goes, Steve will too. And that's what the HBCUs foster. They foster love, unity, and lifelong bonds. In Norfolk, Eugene Daniel, 13 News Now. Richard and Steve are recovering in Ohio. February 14th is also National Donor Day. The U.S. Department of Health and Human Services says black Americans make up the largest group of minorities in need of an organ transplant. And the number of black donors who give while they're living is 10 times less than those who are white.